Frankie, lovely to see you again. Um, since we last spoke, you had three winners in um, Canada, and then you've gone to Longchamp. You've had three winners there. You've even had a winner in Bellistan for uh, Barney Well, for Johnny Murta, but in memory of Barney. How's it been since we last spoke? Well, um, Canada was great. Um, three nice winners for Charlie. Paris was great. I mean, you know, the, nothing always goes 100%. Obviously, had two group ones. Uh, I won another one for Said. The Strad, unfortunately, was second. I was second in the opera, beating the nose. But overall, it all went well. All my horses performed quite well. And it was a bit of a shame that Love uh, was withdrawn before racing. But uh, she had the temperature. And I think it was my second arc that I missed in 33 years. So that was pretty good going. And you've won a few, so you, l you left one for someone else. Yeah, well, that's it. But you're overall good. And now, uh, yeah, our system goes for this weekend, Champions Weekend. What, you know, really, more or less, is the end of the season for us. But what a great, great day, actually. Well, we'd love to see you ride three winners there. Keep, keep up uh, the six. I'll sign for it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm decided enough to ride one. If you give me three, I'll sign for it now. Mm. Right, let's go on to Champions Day. Yep. It's going to be, well... Uh, for the first time in many years, hopefully some nice ground, some nice racing ground. Look, we come towards the end of the season, it's middle of October, uh, we always have a rain around and even if we do have dry days, you know, with the dew that we get in the mornings, it takes a long time to dry. Uh, I was, I rode there a couple of weeks ago and it was soft to heavy, uh, but we bet now, uh, we're going to have 10 dry days to Saturday. Uh, spoke to Chris Stickos, the car of course, and he, uh, you know, he, even he said that, you know, even if it's dry during the day, we get we, they get heavy juice. So I would say it will ride good to soft in the straight, and it probably will ride soft in the back. Uh, uh, and probably at best even good, good to soft. Uh, what I would say is probably the best condition we had for a long time. Which, which, which is great for us who are attending. Um, it starts with um, the Long Distance Cup, mm -hmm. Route 2, um, another battle between Strad and Trishan. Yeah. Um, how is Strad since uh, Longchamp? Well, he's great. He takes his race really well. You know, uh, of course, we were disappointed, but listen, he still runs second. And, you know, it, it goes without saying, Trishan is a, is a very, very good horse on, on extreme conditions. Uh, I, I, I think now that the ground is good, good to soft, it will bridge the gap a lot. But, you know, I still have the almighty respect for Trushan, and, uh, but it's going to make it more of a plain level field. So currently a four to one shot. Um, I'm going to go through all these races. You've won this race three times. Um, first in 1990, Great Marcus. Then Flying Officer. I don't into remember Great Marcus. <laughs> uh, then flying officer 2015 yeah. and then 2018 right. obviously Strad. Yeah. Um, champion stakes group one two o'clock I believe you're going to be riding Kin Ross here the just sprint I'm yeah. riding Kin Ross yes uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a gelding he's not a bad horse uh, we've been campaigning him seven to a mile uh, with stiff six uh, I mean, the softer the better for him. So, you know, maybe the, the ground is drying up uh, a bit for him. Um, you know, he's a bit of an outsider. Uh, there is some proper sprinters in the race. They got, they got a better profile for him, but we got nothing to lose. And uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to try, you know. Uh, in the foray, I was drawn wide. I was too far back. He ran on well. Spy Blues was in the race, he beat me fair and square, so uh, it'd be quite difficult to reverse that four, but you know, I'm just hoping that uh, I get a cleaner run and uh, it could get placed. You've got a great record in the race. Um, first winner, Chummy's favourite. 40 to 1, Neville Callan. I think it was one of my first group winners back in the day. 1989. 18 year old I was. Wow, oh 70. Um, next winner, 96, Diffident. Diffident was the uh, number uh, two in the Magnificent Seven, yes, I remember him. Um, then Sam Power, Star in 2000. Don't quite remember. And oh. then you must remember this horse, Acclamation. And Ac Acclamation, I do remember him, yeah. 
Um, great stallion. Great stallion, indeed. What was it like to ride a winner for Mark Chan on Angel Blue and the Jean-Luc Lagarde? Well, great. I, um, you know, I, through a friend of mine, I met Mark. He wanted to invest in horse racing, but mainly to, for Hong Kong. Uh, and then uh, he started to double a little bit in the UK racing, and you know we uh, we done tremendously well for him. Uh, and you know we, we won a Group Two, Kir Ross, and obviously Angel Blue won of his first Group One, and new mandate last year, and a uh, couple other winners. So yeah, you know he's been a very lucky owner for me. Uh, you know, believe it or not, it, because of. Uh, Covid, I never had the chance to go to Hong Kong and actually meet him face to face. But in in this day and age with FaceTime, I feel like I I met him already. So um, yeah, I think uh, talking about Angel Blue could possibly turn up either in France for the Criterium or maybe in the Racing Post Trophy because uh, he likes um, soft ground and we gotta make hay while it's sunshine. While there's a lot of rain around, why not? Absolutely. So uh, moving on to the 235, Champions, Phillies and Mare Stakes, another Group 1. Mm. You ride free win for John and Thady Gosden. Um, it's another race you've, you've absolutely dominated. You've had five winners at this race. Price? Price is 4-1. to one. Um, You've got a 25% strike rate in the last 10 years in this race. Very nice. So you've had Cunning in 92, Signorina Cativa in 99, Ouija Board 2005, Journey 2016, Star Catcher 2019, and Free Win 2021, hopefully. Yeah, look, she's uh, improved no end. She's won in Deauville in good style, then she absolutely hacked up in the Park Hill. Look, she, and I know she's show price, and in the finish in good form. Uh, I mean, this is a, a hell of a race. I mean, uh, I don't know what O'Brien's going to throw in, but if it's Love or Snowfall, they're champions. This is a different ball game. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of Philly, what she's got low mileage and she's in the upgrade. So I don't know where the limit is, but uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, you know, I, I think 4-1 to one is quite skinny for those that want to park hill over a mile and six. Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, I, I will... Uh, I'll try my best, uh, but you know, it, it, this, this is a different ball game. The, she's taking on horses that she's never met before, so uh, I really don't know. Fair enough, and if she comes through this with flying colours and possibly a contender for the arc next year. But Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. listen, uh, like I said, you know, those kind of feelings would warm the up. You don't know how far they can go, you know, but like I said, you know, was she beat Doncaster? This is a tif different league. These are proper group one Philly, so it's going to be tough. Yeah, these are going around the world, beating everyone. Yeah, they? absolutely. Um, so uh, the Queen Elizabeth the second stakes at 310. Again, for obviously John and Thady Gosden, you ride an absolute champion in Palace Pier. I don't know if this could be Palace Pier's last race. Might go to Breeze Cup. I, I really don't know. Um, 13 to 8 shot. How is Palace Pier? AC group, good order. Uh, Look, I love the horse. Uh, it's done nothing wrong. The only race he got beat is in this one. When he lost the shoe and I got squeezed at the start, I was so far back, he made a massive move with, with the one less shoe and still run third. Um, obviously, I have all, all the um, almighty respect for the Agus horse. What is unbeaten is an improving horse. But, you know, look, Palace Pierce need no introduction. He's won everything. Whatever you put in front of him is beat, you know, from last year. To this year, so look, uh, he's gonna he's gonna be there. So you know, uh, let, let's see what happens. And uh, I have uh, you know every confidence that he's gonna run a, a, a massive race because you know he's been a champion and he's probably one of the best miles I've ever ridden. So uh, I just hope that everything you know goes well and we have that bit of luck. So this is definitely another race you've put your mark on. Excuse the pun. First one with Mark of Distinction in 1990. That was my first Group 1 in my career, so I'll, I'll never forget that. Then Mark of Esteem, 96. That's one of my nieces of seven. Then a horse Sheikh Mohammed loves, Dubai Millennium. Yeah, he was a champion. 99. Then Ramonti in Italian horse. 2007. Poet's Voice, 2010. And Persuasive in 2017. Not bad. Which, which would you say is the best of those winners? Well, Dubai Millennium was the best out of that list. My favourite was my first one, Mark of Distinction, because it was my first one. 
uh, you never forget your first big one. So uh, I've got a bit of a painting at home of him. You know, it was a great horse for me. Wonderful. Champion stakes. I don't think you're going to have a runner. It looks like no. I, they look like you know. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, um, I was relying on uh, Mr. O'Brien, but I think he's only got one runner. Uh, it was a great race, you know. Uh, Miss Sharif, the Derby winner, it'd be a great match. Looking forward to it, actually. You've won, you've won that race twice on Cracksman, 2017, yeah. 2018. It's tremendous to go back to back. I'm going to finish with the Balmoral Handicap, which is the only non-group race of the day. However, it's the only race you haven't won on Champions Day. So uh, I think, <laughs> we, I know, we, we, we'd quite like to see you, you get the full house. You're on a three to one shot in Sunray Manger with, with John and Thady, obviously, again. Looks like a horse with huge potential. Is he one for group races next year? It's, it's hard to well, tell. Well, he's the one with less mileage of the lot. We always thought a bit of him as a three year old. He had 18 months off. He's come back. I won at Chelmsford. He won the other day at Ascot on deep ground. Uh, you know, he's. It's got lots of potential. The thing is, Chief, with uh, the bar model, is 20 odd, 20 odd runners. And the draw is key because obviously having a low draw is quite important because, as I told you before, in the autumn, the shade of the grandstand falls into the stand side track the last two and a half furlongs. So it's key to be on that side. So if you unfortunately, like I was with Lord North, I had a high draw, uh, is a tremendous disadvantage. And uh, yeah, I just stop, fingers crossed, and I get uh, one to 10. Well, we're, we're Wednesday at the moment, um, so tomorrow is when, when tomorrow, you find yes. about the draw, which actually kind of leads me nicely into the next thing, because there's a movie about your life coming out, and yes. we, we're in a cinema now, and it's amazing cinema, Sea Containers. Curzon down in South Bank in London, and you're doing a screening for Rascal this evening. Do you think uh, you can have a word with Chris Stickles and Nick Smith and everything to make sure you get get the drawing? <laughs> yeah, <on this laughs> unfortunately, evening? it's done by computer. <laughs> I don't think they can help on that. But you know, it's great. We do. We have a you know one of my first uh, screening of the movie tonight. Um, I mean, it's it, it's been a long process. Is um, you know, to me, it's quite embarrassing looking at your life on a big screen, but. I hope people uh, I'll enjoy it and we'll see another side of me, not just about me just winning races. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of what the, the, the production team have done and uh, you know, it's something that uh, uh, I hope people enjoy it. Well, exactly. The big you, screen. You, you, got, you got a movie and a book coming out. So what you're saying is we'll learn things that people don't know yet. Yeah, probably all bad things. <laughs> well, it's, it's good to get people talking. Absolutely. Yeah, anyway, like Chief, you know, to all the Sporting Index people, just say thanks very much for their support and hopefully they had a good year and uh, keep on following. Thank you, Frankie. Thank good, you, Chief. Good luck with everything coming up Thank soon. You. And first of all, particularly good luck on Champions Day. That's Thank our you. three winners. At least. <laughs> <laughs> Touch wood.